there are a couple of characteristics, I think, of our work that may be useful for other states. One, the institute, the institute that I work for is a nonpartisan institute of the legislature. So we're not seen as a partisan group. Uh, we have a board of directors, uh, equal number of members of both Republican and Democratic parties. The governor also has some representatives on our, on our board of directors. Uh, all of the assignments that we get come to us from the legislature. So the legislature has actually passed a bill and uh, said, go, go study this and come back with the answer. So the nonpartisan nature, I think, is a very important one if you're going to try to be providing this rationally considered evidence and economics about what works and what doesn't. That's very important. I also think it's uh, very important uh, to be local. Uh, if we were at some distant university and showed up in town a couple times during a legislative session, I don't think our information would be used as much as it is uh, in, in Olympia, the state capital of Washington. We're right there, we're right next to the capital, and uh, we see members, we see legislative staff all the time helping to interpret the results and answer questions about the information and respond to new inquiries about what they need to know to move public policy forward. So being nonpartisan, and being local are, are a very important characteristics. The other thing that, that I would say that in, in, in tell states, uh, in addition to local, being local, having a local entity do it and, uh, it, uh, and nonpartisan, is to be general purpose. Rather than just doing criminal justice work, we actually work in a, a lot of different areas of state government. And that way, members of the legislature get used to seeing the information presented in a similar way across different kinds of outcomes. Uh, and that, that also, I think, has helped the Institute uh, uh, move policy forward and, and, uh, or at least give information that allow mem members to move policy forward in the state of Washington. My own personal approach is to be very cautious. Uh, I'm a cautious economist. I don't overstate things. If anything, I try, to, I try to take a cautious approach about what works and what doesn't work, whether we can actually get those programs to work in Washington. I'm very nervous about that, and so I, I, I routinely uh, have uh, probably lower outcomes expected from some of the programs than other kinds of researchers around the country would be. In the same way, when I do the cost-benefit analysis, I take a very cautious approach to that. It's just uh, part of what the legislators know when they hire me to, to, to produce that information is that I'm a cautious guy. So uh, being consistent is very important, to have that consistent message that if the legislature is going to hire someone to provide this information, that it's going to be consistently produced even if, uh, in my case, I'm a cautious guy, I'm going to be consistently cautious when I'm looking at education outcomes, when I'm looking at crime outcomes, child welfare outcomes, and so on. So those are some of the advice then that I give uh, to other states that are interested in trying to duplicate the Institute's work for the Washington legislature it, it is to um, find some entity that's local, that is known to be nonpartisan, uh, that, that uh, tries to produce a consistent analytical framework to answer the questions and someone that wants to spend at least half of their time not doing the numbers at the computer but actually the other half of their time communicating the results both to staff and to legislative members.